Belladonna of Sadness is not a movie for everyone. This movie made in the 70s definitely has that hippie style from the era and gives you a very 70s feel, especially with the way it's animated and shown. There's a lot of controversy surrounding this movie though, thanks to how it's presented to the viewer, especially when it comes to themes like rape and manipulation and how the woman is viewed in society. The story consists of Jeanne and Jean, happy new lads living in a rural village in medieval France. Their idol is promptly shattered when Jeanne, on her wedding night, is raped in a ritual deflowering by the local baron and his courtiers. She turns to Jean, terrified and in pain, and he calms her, saying, let us forget everything in the past. That night, Jean begins to see visions of a fairly headed spirit who promises her power. As a result, the couple's fortunes rises even as famine strikes the village and the baron raises taxes to fund his war effort. Jean is made tax collector, and the Baron cuts off his hand as punishment when he cannot extract enough money from the village. The spirit visits once again, having grown in size, and rapes Jean in exchange for more riches. Although she submits her body, she attests that her soul belongs to God. Shortly after, Jeanne takes out a large loan from a usurer and sets herself up in the same trade, eventually becoming the true power in the village. Before we dive in this whole controversy, I want to talk about the meaning behind the title of the movie. Belladonna is a hallucinogenic plant whose name translates to pretty woman and whose berries contain enough toxins to kill any man foolish enough to pluck them. Also, it's the name Jeanne, our main character, gives herself throughout the movie. The movie is loosely based on a French tale of Jeanne d'Arc, Joanne of Arc, but also drawing influence from the Summer of Love, Japan Women's Liberation Movement, and historical accounts of witchcraft, as depicated in Jules Michelet's 1862 book Satanism and Witchcraft. Belladonna of Sadness is a delirious hodgepodge of idea that lands somewhere between Faustasian fantasy and feminist screed. When it comes to the movie's philosophies, it's easy to say that the movie is there to represent the view of women in society and how powerful they can become. There's nothing wrong with showing women representation in movies, but in Belladonna's Sadness there's a bit of controversy on how it's portrayed. In my and most people's opinions, the scenes of sex and rape are just… too much to handle. As a person who has been through sexual assault and harassment, it was very hard to watch Belladonna being raped by the Baron and engaging in sexual intercourse with the devil. I know they tried to showcase how women can be manipulated and how fragile they are, but there were definitely other ways of showcasing that. It definitely shows it in a very artistic way, but it's still a bit too much considering how much she moans in the whole two hours or so of the movie. Belladonna grows as a character, but in the wrong way. She gets power from the devil and the powers he gave her after fighting against him for so long, and that's kind of the downfall of the movie. She fell on his hands and now has the power thanks to one of the entities that hurt her the most. Of course I absolutely hate her husband. He is useless and a scurdy cat and never actually did anything right and tried to kill her right in the beginning of the movie because he's a coward. I can feel where Jeanne is coming from. With her husband being an asshole and the town she is in going to doom, she had to be the one saving everyone and incentivating a revolution with her spirit. She went from sensitive, fragile and hurt girl to powerful and strong woman. She is burned at the end since she is accused of witchcraft but her influence grew on the villagers and they would later start what's known as the French Revolution. If you're fine with seeing rape scenes and religious appeal, definitely give this movie a watch. It's a very amazing artistic experience regardless of all the raunchy scenes. There's definitely footage in the movie that is one of the most beautiful animated sequences I've ever seen, so if you're a sucker for animation and art, watch this movie and comment down below your opinion on it. Belladonna of Sadness is not perfect, but it's not bad either, so it deserves a solid 8. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to not lose any of my latest uploads. All the links to my social media and Discord server are in the description, and I'll see you guys on my next video.